Martin radio program by his hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. I think y'all know that by now. I'll be putting my look like I got a second like I'm a secretary. What's up, y'all? Global Street Wave. What is this? Episode 15, something? 15. Episode, episode 15. Yeah, season two. You know, I'm like the housewives, reality shows, you gotta and all be that. Over it on that you know what I'm saying? Hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So the screaming bossy, y'all, again, with our lovely kings, man supreme. My man, J.G. Bossy. You feel me? J.G. Bossy Supreme. We rhyme. We was meant to be. Global Street Wave, y'all. Another nice segment. Bossy is going to be a lot more conservative today. Uh, we have a legendary DJ. I'm going to call him Merlin Man and Legendary because uh, that's what he was called by Andre Russell over there at KJLH. Shouts out to Classic Kathy. That's our guest today. Classic Kathy yeah, yeah. and Mr. King Oliver. Can we get a hand clap for that, miss? We got Don. Salute to Don. Y'all ain't had Don in a minute up in here. Shouts out to Matt. And I'll be giving my shots. I'll just be talking and intro and doing like 20 things at once. But I'll definitely make sure I keep this a nice, clean show today. You know what I'm saying? So uh, y'all stay tuned in. You know, we got JG Says. We got the words from the wise. And again, you got the lovely Screaming Bossy. We're going to be spitting a lot of like knowledge and information. So I think I'm going to just kind of get right straight into all that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let Brian go first before you get started and cut it up. You feel me? Because you're going to hit it out of the ballpark. I'm going to let him come soft with it. You know, I let you go hard. You know what I'm saying? And the day I want to be clean, but you don't ever cuss, so I ain't got to tell you to watch your mouth. Right. But salute to my man, Brian Supreme, been in all the Global Street Wave shows. Now, before we get into your segment, I want to make an announcement, y'all. I'm rushing and stuff. Like, I had coffee. I ain't even had coffee. So, first off, on the first issue of the CN Magazine, I need all bossy supporters People that think they love me, want to love me, that hate me, you feel me? You can get in, throw darts at me, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just don't make voodoo dolls of me, y'all. <laughs> but uh, definitely check out Sin Magazine. I'll put it up again. Salute to AJ and Chrissy. Candy Cane, you feel me what I'm saying? Candy Cane Consultants. Sin Magazine, y'all. Yeah. Sin Magazine is on madcloud.com. You look up Sin Magazine. There you go. And Sin Magazine also is Screaming Bossy. Connected like Wi-Fi. Y'all used to see me in another another magazine, another magazine uh, doing articles. So I keep it moving. Now I'm rolling with the sin. You know what I'm saying? We're doing it for the success of neighborhoods. So that's what the sin means. It's not about, you know, the actual religious word sin. So it's not nothing negative. You know, whoever's out in their hoods being productive and positive and doing things like the people that you see here and on other shows and all across the world. You know, we're promoting their, that also. So anybody looking to get in sin magazine, you can go to... Sin one magazine at gmail.com. I think I said that right. And um, other than that, I want to make a, one sin. Thank you, Mama Sita. One sin. That's why Don, that's why I miss Don now, because Don had me on point. Thank you, Don. <laughs> one sin magazine at gmail.com. So uh, another thing I want to mention is a brother that uh, actually passed. Uh, salute to DJ Charlie. Y'all know Screaming Bossy is on uh, 97.7 The Blaze with DJ Charlie on Fridays and Saturdays from 7. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, turning it up sometime, 8, 9. We've been going on, y'all, doing our thing. But uh, DJ Charlie reached out to me. This brother, D-Mac Deluxe, he was shot, actually, and killed after celebrating his birthday. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. So that's sad. So we just want to send our condolences to this gentleman's family, to his, so, uh, you know, supporting fans and friends and, you know, everybody, man. You know, if yeah. he had any children or whatever the case might be, he's a handsome-looking brother, you know, senseless, just very senseless. Crimes, you know, his birthday, he was shot, and he was a bomb Leo like me, cause Leo's is over tomorrow, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know you're around. Don saying, hmm, like she was a Leo and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know you is. You, you fire. You good too, though. Eris is cool. I like Eris's. So, um, anyways, you guys, we wanted to definitely give this brother, you know, some love. So, um, you know, to all the game bangers, Bossy not gonna cuss y'all out today. Y'all gonna get a pass, but you know what you really can do with yourself, right? Go read some books. You know what I'm saying? Love yourself and hug yourself. Um, other than that, what else I wanted to mention 
was that I love you guys. No, I'm just playing. So we're going to get into the words from the wise, y'all. I want to enlighten you guys with something, and I'm going to let my man B do that for me. So, Ryan, what do you have today for us? He's taking pictures over there like he's celebrity <laughs> and stuff and right. about to go get his words. So get your words from the wise on, baby. <laughs> All right. Today. Oh, hold on. I ain't oh, said sure. this in a minute. Okay. Open up your mind. Oh, you okay, you got it on me down. Mm. Open up your mind, your heart, and your ears. Okay, it's your turn now, B. <laughs> All right. How y'all doing tonight? Okay. What's up, baby? Brian Williams with Words from the Wise. By choice, I am a king, mm. and I salute all the queens. My kingdom is a world of good family and friends that I choose to inspire and share positive thoughts. Kings and queens all have a kingdom, a world of thoughts, music, and children of the world. The best kingdom is a rich kingdom full of positivity, wisdom, and well-being. That kingdom isn't hard to find. It's right there within us. So uplift your spirit. Have some peaceful thoughts. Inspire those around you each and every day. Because your kingdom is what you make of it. Yes. So make it a good kingdom. Yes. Amen. Reach out to the elements of the world, the earth, the wind, and the fire. Meditate and focus on all your blessings and your goals and breathe some life into your existence and world. I'm Brian Williams with Words from the Wise. Thank you, B. I like that with the kingdom. Oh, the kingdom. And that's awesome because I am, again, a bossy Leo. August 8th was Bossy's birthday. She turned 20-something. Hey, 20-something, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, uh, the queens, the bossies, the bossy Leos from the kings to the queens, we rule. So, we naturally just born into our own kingdoms. No, I just have to praise the Leos. I like that for the Leoness of it. But uh, definitely... I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you with your positive words and uh, enlightening and keeping people, you know, uplifted and, you know, inspired, motivated, you know, sure. definitely. Sure. Uh, do me a favor off top. Just so you guys know, I'd always mention again, I have Mr. Supreme here, number one, because he's been supporting me since I was on another sister show in here. And he's came to every single show in here I've done here myself since December 6th. And he loves Tupac. He also worked with Tupac. It's not a lie. You can see him with pictures. He actually got pictures. You know how people be lying and stuff? He got pictures. And uh, this brother here was like really dear and close to Pac, you know. And I don't call myself Lady Pac and Tupac in the dress because I wanted to. I said because they was calling me that when I was performing. And it went to my head. (laughs) But it's a lot of things about Pac that I don't agree with. So I ain't that part of the pop, but I'm the revolutionary spirit, the one that will die for the cause of the people. But I ain't finna go down no other crap, you know what I'm saying? But uh, definitely, uh, I definitely love this brother. But before I forget my point, because I'm about to, tell my people something that Pac will say right now. Pac would definitely say, keep your head up. That's my favorite line. That's my favorite line. Give me something else. That's too easy. I say that already. (laughs) Okay, well, one one of the things he definitely always told, told me is you gotta love the kids mm-hmm. you know, open up your hearts to the kids because they're the future that's right and you know before he passed away he made me have a promise we talked you know and he said uh brian you know what i need you to make a promise to me you know and i said what is it you know he said i need you to reach out to the kids and continue to inspire them wow and wow. you know look out for the kids you know And, you know, we talked about the kids all the time, you know, and they are future. Yes. And so I told them, no problem. I got I got you on that. So anytime I get a chance, I help out the kids in the community and uh, help out the kids and inspire them wherever any chance I can get. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I knew you was cheating me. That's why I asked you to give me something else. You feel me? You know, oh, you said keep, you, keep your head up. I know that. Boy, yeah. Get deep. I want you to go deep again. Please, people, we're here to feed you. You feel me? What we're going to do, we're going to actually take a quick break. We're going to go to a song. Since I feel like I'm every woman, like Shaka Khan, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing a lot of old school stuff today, a few old school tracks. And it's uh, for the sake of my brother man, Mr. King Oliver, that's in the building. Because uh, I want to keep it old school. You know what I'm saying? He's from the 70s. He's a DJ back at the KJLH. You know, he's uh, definitely known for a lot of great things you will be finding out in a minute about. So, uh, y'all keep your heads up like Pac said. All you ladies know that you every woman. If you are a queen, you know what I'm saying? Y'all other ones, you know what I'm talking about? This mix. You every woman too, baby, if that's what you change to. Bruce Jenner, I <laughs> Shout out to Shaka Khan. Oh, God.
Okay, but I'm the one. Just <laughs> ask. That ain't my tone. I ain't even gonna try. I'm gonna leave it alone. That rhyme, though. I can still rap. So, anyways, you guys, we have, like I said, a wonderful guy. This man, Mr. King Oliver, right? I have to look at the bio and stuff. Okay. He's here to do what he do, but he's definitely from Delaware, New York. So, shout out to all my people out there in Delaware. I got this gun in my mouth. All that is so taggy. And, um,. He's a junior like me. I'm a junior. No, I'm just playing, y'all. But um, he has, he's very definitely, uh, he's definitely a very interesting man. He's worked on some different uh, radio stations. He's also worked with KJLH. And uh, he's King Oliver. And then he's also known as the, the Gemini and the Voice of Love. <laughs> you feel me? At KJLH FM. You see why Bossy said she's going to be positive, ain't going to be cussing here today? So we got a lot of nice pictures you'll see flashing on the screen. He's going to mention who some of those people he's on, the, you know, people he's on the pictures with in a little bit. But before we get into Mr. King Oliver, we're going to say hi to him real quick. Let's give a hand clap. How you doing today, Mr. King Oliver? Everything is wonderful. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to do our last segment with J.G. Sands. I just wanted to introduce you and let you sit in on the segment. Okay. Because we're going to go right to you afterwards and play another, you know, track for you. And um, we're going to get into J.G. Sands. Then we're going to come back to Mr. King Oliver, okay? So I just want to introduce him in the show. He's a OG. He needs to sit in and <laughs> listen right. to this, too. We're trying to preach to the rappers and the youngsters and the kids. But we're going to see what's old school. He might want to interject or he might want to. Affirm something, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where he's at, but I'm gonna test, test him and see. Now, if I have to get out of line and knock Mr. King Oliver out like I cuss all my guests out, then I might have to do that. I'm just playing King <laughs> Oliver. So, anyways, you guys, I made him smile. That's all I wanted to do. So, you guys, JG says it's gonna get deep. JG, don't take hey. 20 minutes because we need to get King Oliver 30 or more. I'm, I'm a you feel me? It's like his like birthday 40. today. No, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you, baby, because I know you deep. That was just an exaggeration. I'm, I'm gonna definitely take like 40 minutes. I know um, you will, so go on ahead. No, so take 41. I'm just playing, but, uh, um, anyways, uh, how's everybody doing today? We're doing awesome, man. Right. That's great. That's great. Uh, I just want to thank Ms. Bossy for having me on here, letting yes, me exercise my First Amendment. That's why I feel Shout like out to my man, teacher. Brian Supreme, you know what I mean? And our guest, King Oliver, you know what I mean? And uh, our fabulous engineer, Don, Don today. Thank yes, you so man. much. Um, I just have a couple announcements. Uh, I got an Alka Shatter Drive coming up. Basically, I was so inspired by the, uh, the charity skid road thing that we did last weekend. That um, I decided to actually get back on my own charity tip and uh, start this thing for kids, uh, which okay. actually ties back into what Brian was talking about, how the kids is very important. Yes. And, uh, you know, as if you guys were really uh, Tupac fans out there, you guys would know that Doug Life stood for the hate you give little infants, um, Fs everybody, you know, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, therefore, you know, the point is the kids are very important. This ki uh, this drive is specifically for the kids. All the toys, clothes, whatever you guys have left over, please um, hit me on the inbox uh, on Instagram. I go by JG underscore official DM me. Or you could actually just reach me at my public number, 818-297-6777. We can meet anywhere publicly. Uh, you guys can drop off the donations to me for the kids. Um, even if it's for adults, it doesn't matter. You know, we're going to be passing them out all through, you know, Skid Row, um, different organizations, Boys and Girls Club, stuff like that. And, um, yeah, man, you know, we're really trying to give back to our communities like we really should be, you know. So. Definitely. Definitely. And then um, next thing is uh, Alka Shatter. We sponsored, you know, a couple of talents this, this upcoming month. And um, I just want to let you guys, you know, know the names is uh, Chaos the Monster. Miss Tessie Jean from the 420 Nurses, Mary Robles, a.k.a. Miss Magna Dila, and uh, my man Halo, and 17-year-old, that's right, he's only 17, but this kid's rocking, Eli Ford. Okay. So, they're the new uh, talents on Alpha Shatter, and um, I just sorry, want to introduce him, so... You know what I mean? Big shout out to you guys. I appreciate yes, you guys rocking with shout the movement. Shout out to Sam Magazine again, Candy Cane Consultants. Yep, Walk shout Street, out to Miss Chrissy, Mr. AJ yeah, Johnson. Listen, you we know all connected. I mean? You sponsor us with that healthy water, so we thank yep. you for that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely. We we got, you know, Global Shoeways back all day, Miss Bossy's back. And what else day, you got for us? I know you wanted to go hard. Yeah, and then um, just another thing for all you guys that are curious about Hillary Clinton, stop investigating her now because you guys are going to end up like these four dudes they're government officials one of them is a UN official doesn't matter who you are they're gonna assassinate your ass they're part Tell of the DNC uh, oh, oh I'm cuss. sorry that's alright I, I, I actually said that on the first show uh, I did 50 <laughs> shows and this one I don't just, want to um, just you know be careful the information that you you look up or that you're uh, gonna release 
you know, as far as on the DNC party because you don't know what's going to happen to you. Um, these four guys were assassinated within two months. One of them died five days before testifying before the Clinton trial. Um, the other one was um, accidentally or somehow shot in the head wow. in his mountaintop home. Wow. Um, the other dude was a, a, a self-induced heart attack, died of natural causes. They usually use adrenaline and um, you usually can't find that stuff in, 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 in autopsy. So I just want to say, you know, for all you conspiracists out there that are investigating Hillary Clinton, just stop because you guys aren't going to get to the bottom of it. She's going to just get rid of you guys, man. Well, do we need to stop telling the truth on here? Because we be doing no, too we, much. No, we, we, we keeping it 100 all day. They That's don't what like we what do. we're doing. They be coming up missing. Yeah, they, yeah people be coming up missing, but I'm not scared, though. You know what I mean? I'm here to tell the truth all day. So no, like I said, I'm going to die I'm from just, there. I'm just, I'm just telling everybody, you know, just be careful with Hillary Clinton, man. She's a, That's a very sensitive yeah. um, topic right there. Name. She's part of the system that we all live in that. You know, we all fall under that. We, you know, that we call the system that we're all under. She's part so of that some system. Some things you so. just need to leave alone. Yep, Hillary Clinton's one of them. I'm glad you feel that way, so you don't come here getting me looked for. My son, yeah. Mama, come up missing. Hey, Hillary stuff. Clinton's one of them. Don't touch Hillary Clinton, okay, man. Leave she, uh, her alone. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. So is that it for us? You got something yeah. else for us? No, that's it. That's okay. it. Well, thank you. Let's says. give JG a hand a clap for the you know I mean? information. He tried to save y'all today. It's been scary, y'all. I appreciate that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get into one more song. And this is going to be from the Funkadelics. This is One Nation Under a Groove. You feel me? We under a groove up in here. Global Streetway, 97.7 Blaze. I can shout. Hey, Sam, I can see. Hey, Kevin K. Good something. Hey, Oliver King, Oliver KJ LH. <laughs>
ratchet <laughs> under a groove. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all better get out that ratchet lane and go and get and find some real culture. Y'all think he just was wearing all that colorful hair, man? That man was talking. You feel me? George Clinton was very good. Oh, he was very intellectual and spit knowledge in what he was saying, you know? So, anyways, Tommy we... Dog. Remember that one? Yes. Oh, yeah, I grew up off that. My <laughs> uncle used to bump that in his car. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Grew up with loud music in the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I think I can rap now and all. So, anyways, you guys, we have Mr. King Oliver, like we said, up in the building. Okay. Yeah. Also known as, let me go to and say it myself. Y'all don't say nothing. Also known as the Gemini and the voice of love at KGLHFM. So we're going to get into him today. You know, he has uh, some great pictures I've seen with uh, the temp- Who was that? The little Whispers. Whispers. I'm about to say Temptation. The little twin dudes. The Whispers yeah. and all that, that good stuff. I, could, I, had, I wish I had a better picture. To, Actually, uh, you. since I mentioned that, uh, well, before we do that, Classic Kathy is the reason why we're here. That's the picture right there, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, now I'm going to get into the other ones. But before we do, um, Classic Kathy is the reason why you're here. So I'm actually honored and I want to thank her because okay. you're a radio DJ. So I said, Boston, I'm going to cuss today because I, I can't even get on, on a you know, big show from cussing too much. You know? well, well, that's good. I feel more better, but I ain't cussing still because of you today. I want to see a clean show. You know what I'm saying? So I'm being polite today. Respect my peoples, you know? So this sister, I want to give her the honor to just give a quick introduction because this is her uncle, actually. Right, yeah. who y'all, who mama, that's your mama and daddy, brothers, sisters, who's your? This is my mother's older brother. Okay, so we know she ain't lying. You feel me, that's her uncle, she ain't flossing. I meant to bring that picture of all you guys. Oh, okay. That was eight of, eight okay. Seven. 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 See how y'all so personal. So hold on for y'all get personal. It's business first. Don't be getting personal yet. I want you to give an introduction. Give okay, us an introduction, well, Queen. Um, you know what, I'm honored too. I'm thankful to be here. I'm glad that my uncle, the uh, the Gemini, the square from Delaware. <laughs> yes, the, uh, you said the that voice one too. Of love. Like I'm hearing all this stuff now. I'm like, wow! I'm so yeah. impressed, and I'm just glad that you're here. Awesome. And this is a man who was part of the of KJLH, one of the longest running shows ever. That's right. Um, in LA, but also had a, a base in the black community as far as playing R and B and music at okay. all in, in the airwaves. Now and take so a pause. Take a pause. You, we have a caller. We don't want to lose the caller. Oh, okay. Where's another headset at? I don't have one. Good or at least. I have to. No, she's gonna get us one. But let me have this one in the meantime while I'm the host. You don't have a. You don't have an adapter. What's, okay, that's okay. That was my. I don't. I didn't have it on because my hair is cute. So you just hold on. If it's for you, we are gonna get you the headset. Okay, caller. Sorry about that. Thank you for calling Global Street Wave. Screaming bossy. Hey, screaming bossy. It's Chrissy Love. How you doing? Hi, Chrissy. Candy Cane Consultants, y'all. When I keep saying Candy Cane Consultants and all that, this is who I'm talking about. What's up, Mama Cita? Shout out to shout out to all y'all. I see Don over there. That's What's right. Up Supreme. What's up, JG? What's up, man? Hey, I love Chrissy. all of y'all. Thank Call you, baby. Support y'all. Uh, y'all to death. I'll probably hang up and call back 10 more times. Okay, that'll be no. good. Just call with a different voice and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but I didn't make it in tonight because I got my daughter with me. No, it's okay. That's it's all and good. And I want Bossy to be like, time out in the middle of her show. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm going to whoop the baby booty. This a non-cousin. This a non-cousin show I'm nice today. No, I'm joking. I'm that's, clowning. That's right, baby. I'm calling, but I am calling in to support all of you guys. I love y'all to death. Hey, right. uh, is it Chatty Cathy? Cat, the classic Kathy. Hello. Classic Kathy. I'm sorry. <laughs> How you doing? Shout out to you two. And Mr. King I Oliver. You too, Don. Hi. Thank you for calling. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for supporting uh, my uncle, too. Oh, yeah. All the time. All the time. <laughs> That's my right hand. That's right, baby. That's what's up. One love. All day. All That's time. right. Thank you, Mama Sita. Okay, no problem. Okay. I'm going to be sure to have a million other people call in. Okay, honey. <laughs> Yeah, all right. right. You guys have a good night. Oh, honey. You too, Miss Chrissy. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, let me tell I'm like Morris Day, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I am too. <laughs> he had somebody carrying his mirror for him. I'm going to do that. I was going to make you do it, but you the guest. So I gave you a pass. So, anyways, now let's get back into Classic Kathy. I didn't want to lose the call. No it feels problem. good to have yeah. callers, you know. So, shouts out to my lady again. Candy Cane Consultant, y'all, cla- right quick. Chrissy, I do have to give his sister a big p- shout out, though, because she deals with me, number one. When I be talking about I'll be fussing and cussing the people, I be, Chrissy take a lot of my crap. She knows she can, she, I know she can whoop my butt. I'm going to honestly mention that on live, you stream. But she deals with Bossy because Bossy tells the truth. And she has to check me some time, and we just keep each other checked. But I said that live on air, so can nobody say I said nothing. I, Chrissy, no. 
and Chrissy's the bomb. You know why? Because Chrissy be having me out in the streets, and we've been doing a lot of networking, a lot of promoting, and getting a lot of live footage just raw out in the streets. So I have to give her a definite shout out because she keep me busy, keep me active, and I'm getting views on them videos I've been posting. You feel me? So I need a million, million, a million, a million, million, a million of y'all, okay? <laughs> Follow Swim the Glossy. But back to Mr. King Oliver, man. You go on ahead, honey. Finish saying what you were mentioning as far as oh. about this gentleman with the just a quick introduction because I yeah. want to talk to him and let us make it some questions versus you just telling everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could go on all day, but quickly, you know, I feel he put the L in KJLH, okay. the love, and we need more of that right now. So Definitely. I'm thankful to have Amen. my uncle here with us. Thank you Definitely. very much for showing Definitely. up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate now, first off, what I wanted to say was back exactly when were you on KJLH as a DJ? Well, I was there from the... Uh, Middle 60s to so about the late 80s. Wow, awesome. Uh, quite a while and uh, nice played many oh. formats. Okay. Uh, met a lot of nice people, did a lot of nice things. Okay. That station uh, was actually the uh, FM side of K-Fox. Okay. Oh, wow. Long Beach. Oh, wow. It was AM, FM station. John Hill bought the uh, FM side. Oh, wow. And the kindness, joy, love, and happiness, you know where that came from? Uh, every station west of the Mississippi... Okay. Except one. It starts with a K. Okay. And the J L H. The man who bought the station, the Fox, was named John Lamar Hill. Oh wow. Who owned uh, Angela's funeral home. Oh wow. Oh so, wow. So you got K, which you had to have, and you had John Lamar Hill. K J L H. Oh, that's awesome history, you guys. So was it? Okay. Say what? Oh, she missed it because we got the phones on hot fire. Y'all, oh, did they uh, hang up? They, they didn't know they were every to. station oh, okay. west of Mississippi starts with a K, except WGN okay. in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, they have East Coast stations all start with a W. Yeah. Right. So the guy had the K for the start. It was his initials, in other words. The yeah. guy that owned. And so the jocks were all talking one day and okay. decided to change that a little bit to kindness, joy, love, oh, and happiness. And okay. we, we preached that for a long time. When we first started out, uh, actually the station, John Hill's mortician, the station was set up in Long Beach in a mortician's shop down there. Uh, I forget mm -hmm. the name of the place. Okay. So they built an antenna site on Dominguez Hills. Wow. Then he moved to Dominguez Hills. It took a while to get the permit to operate 100% okay. in Los Angeles. Because actually the station is licensed to a uh, city of Compton. Oh, wow. So they, wow. They, they, they moved it to Crenshaw next to... His uh, funeral home because uh, <laughs> when it was in Long Beach, and that was selling, they were selling airtime for fifty cents a minute. Oh wow! You see, he was losing a lot of money. Okay. And uh, even at that cheap rate, hold on, caller. Even at that cheap rate, he found out that other competitors would find out who owned that station, and it was a black man. Wow. And then people would pull their spots wow. off the air. And hold on and on that note. Let's get uh, to this caller right quick, you guys. This is interesting. I like this. Hey, thank you, Classic. They hung up. Okay, we took long. No problem. You know what I'm saying? Call a call back, or y'all just keep uh, you know, just keep listening. Yeah, at that, so At that cheap rate, they would. it was owned by a black man. They pulled the commercials. And even the big shots that advertised with the station, they would only stay a two or three months at a time. They wouldn't stay mm. forever and ever and ever. So you couldn't get a big income going in, even though the sound. He was catering to uh, Frank Sinatra, Matt Monroe, and all those uh, okay. supermarket singers that you might say. Okay. But uh, so when he moved to L.A., he got a chance to come to L.A. He moved the station up there. Okay. And he had to operate 49% from Crenshaw, 51% from Dominguez Hills into he lost an antenna in Dominguez Hills on account oh, wow. of something, so he, he put the antenna on top of Baldwin Hills. Oh, wow. You now, his station, you got to be 10 miles Call her away here. from the stations that are, are next to you on both sides of you. Oh, wow. And so because of Cute was closer than the 10 miles, he had to fight to keep that Baldwin Hill site. Because uh, Mount Wilson was kind of close to Baldwin Hills. Wow, yeah. hold on so, that note again. I'll be having to let him get uh, it out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, okay, whatever. We keep losing the calls. You're too deep. Oh, well, I guess so. You know, y'all just going to be a listening yeah, show. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very interesting. So it's worth it. You feel me? You ain't talking about no ratchet crap and no new video coming out. <laughs> so, anyways, man, I like to just let him talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, Kathy, something very interesting before I let them ask the question, uh, Supreme and JG. What's something very interesting? that you wanted to ask him that he can uh, we can address. Mm, let's see. So, 
we talked about kindness, love, and joy happening. Some of you guys wanted to preach back then to the people, the listeners. I feel like that's really gone from the music right now. And I feel like that has totally. an impression on our community as totally. a whole. Totally. I wanted yep. to know how you felt mm-hmm. about that. Do you totally. see that absence or change, especially in the late 80s or mid 80s when you left? Yeah. And how do you feel like that impacts the, the culture today? It's terrible. It actually started happening before I left. Okay. When I went to school, I went to Columbia School of Broadcasting, yeah. they taught us if you said or did anything or played anything okay. that would offend one person, you weren't to use it. Mm-hmm. But then uh, later on, the shock jobs. Shock, shock jobs. Shock jobs. Yeah. <laughs> they came into being with the, uh, you know, wrestling, wrestling ball and people like okay. that. And they they got to shock people, this crazy stuff. You didn't have equal time for, uh, like if you had somebody with this party up on the radio, you had to give the next party the same amount of time. So it was kind of fair. But now they got one way on a lot of stations and they preach a lot of jive. You know, mm-hmm. and the music changed too. Now we uh, we used to have we went to the Rag A for a while. It was great. It was fun. Enjoyed okay. Bob Marley. And all that. <laughs> when he first came to town, we said, "Who is this?" You know. And <laughs> the next okay. day, they said, "Wow, I should have been there." Okay. And we start learning about Rag A, and we start playing a lot of it. You know, and it was very, very good. Uh, we used to play. Uh, John Hill wanted a, nobody to be too far away from their sound, so he used to play a male female instrumental group. So some people only like instrumentals, some like women, some like men, some like yeah, groups. You and you wouldn't be too far away from what you wanted, see. There you go. And uh, he didn't uh, he didn't want to offend anybody. He didn't want certain commercials on the station. Okay. That would downgrade people that he okay. thought like like uh, chicken commercials and oh, wow. air products and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And, and so he wanted the high, high class stuff. Okay. You see, and uh, he finally decided that uh, <laughs> To make make it in the industry, you had to get down with the rest of them. So he mm. he sold it to Stevie mm. after about five years. And Stevie, oh, wow. Stevie was around. He was a very nice owner, but okay. he was around the station a lot. Okay. And I think that was affecting his career too. So oh, he wow. stopped he stopped being around so much and let somebody else run it because mm. he's wow. very he's a very nice guy. Mm-hmm. Stevie Wonder. And That's we, right. We play a whole lot of different stuff and it seemed like a lot of people wanted to come and work at the station. And that kind of complicated JR. things for mm. people. Yes. You had to have a steel cape, you might say. Okay. Uh, there's always somebody yeah. <laughs> trying to stab yeah. you in the back. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's sad. They, they, wanted, they, wanted, they wanted that spot, you know. So. Okay. What would, what, finish going. I'm sorry. Is it a collar for us? No. Okay. Finish going. But about the music itself, like uh, I've heard so many formats and played so many formats that People tell me I have no taste at all because I like a lot of stuff. What did you have you wanted us to play off your thing today, Fla- Flash, before we get out of here? Well, just you know, enough. I like the love stuff. You got Teddy Pendergrass on there. You got Barry White on there. You got okay, so Con. You play the You pick one. You pick one of those berries. We aren't going to do it yet, but just get one of them prepared well, for us. You feel Marvin me? Marvin Gaye on there. Oh, Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Give me some that. Marvin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're going to play one of them. Just go. I had to just throw that out there. So I had to see the, which uh, one you wanted to listen to. I like Marvin on here. Oh. I didn't put Marvin on there. Ooh, no. oh my. Mm. Which what did you want to hear that we play next? Cause I know I can't oh, play you know, all you of. You got the Olympics going on. Okay. You know that mountain on the hill there. Yes. The, the Crash the Redeemer. Uh huh. I used to play that song by uh, Donald Byrd. Is that on there? Er, yeah, early in the morning. Oh, okay. The Crash the Redeemer, and it's a very peaceful song, but we you know the statue is a, <laughs> is quite nice too. Okay. But I used to play that song early in the morning, just as the sun was rising. And everything. Okay, that's right. I'm gonna do right then. That's right. But there's a, I forget all I put on there. There's a lot of, uh, who else did I put on there? Earth, hmm. Isaac, Bell. You got Earth, Wind, and Fire on there? Yeah. Yeah, Probably, yeah. Well, oh, Ooh, that's nice. That's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll great. get a one up. You're going to play one. It don't matter. He didn't say it so many he loved. Right. So now, Brian, go ahead and ask his brother man a question. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I'm a DJ myself, okay. DJ Supreme, for 30 years. And what got you into DJing? Well, I was working at, Tex- at Texaco. Okay. I had all this education, and I thought I was going to leave that place in a short time, and I wanted to find something I could really enjoy doing. So uh, all of a sudden, I heard about Columbia School of Broadcasting, and they gave it a shot, and uh, they taught me, and I tried to switch. Okay. I, kept, I kept my day job. <laughs> right. Ended up being there 37 years. Okay. But I did, I did both for quite a while. Okay. And uh, I had to work. Most of the time, I couldn't work daytime. I had to work between uh, six and 
six in the morning. Oh, wow. But that was a good time to be on the radio, really. Okay. Right. Yeah. So he was, uh, matter of fact, when he changed the format, because before, we could use the whole library, you know, everything in there. We could play. We competed with one another. Right. Tony right. Valdez, Levi, Rod McGrew, you know, uh-huh. uh, Lawrence Tanner. Right. By the way, Lawrence is the voice of the Lakers. He was Oh wow! Oh wow! He does all the ne- announcing for the Lakers, right? Uh-huh. That dude is. He has a dope voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's LT. That's right. What you have for him, JG? What would you like to ask? Um, I just want to ask. You know, coming from such a you know historical musical background, um, how do you feel about music today versus the music you know back played back in the days on air? I wish today. Difference? You know, my my daughter shocked me. <laughs> I played a song for her. I thought she loved. I don't know those guys. I played a song, uh, uh, who's it by? Jealousy. Oh my gosh. Jealousy? I, no, I, no, no, no they, she knows that. YG? <laughs> oh, some new or old? Oh, oh wait, some Detroit new Emeralds, old. Detroit Emeralds. Oh, you're talking about some old. Oh, talking about some new Some old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they I they know your that granddaughter play something. She never heard Baby Let Me Hold You, you know? Oh, okay. That's a good song by, by Detroit Emeralds, Emeralds. but she, uh, she likes, you know, she was a little kid when we saw Barry White and I took him to the Hollywood Bowl and all that. Okay. But, uh, and her daughter, Perry's daughter, went to college with her at USC at the same time. So she, she knows all about them. But they're, they got, every generation seems to have their own sound that they, they cling to. Okay. But I, I like I like rap, some of it. Okay. T- Tupac. I, you know, oh, well, you'll like me then. I was crazy <laughs> about him. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Y'all really of, like you, Mr. Yeah, uh, yeah I come like that. Come like host that. the show with me. How you feel about coming here hosting the show with me to put these rappers? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, when, I, when I was uh, I'm just hitting on them. Taking, some t- <laughs> taking some TV lessons at a uh, cable station, uh, EW, uh, NWA came by. That's oh, why I met Dr. Right. Dre and all those guys. Okay. Easy E. Okay. And uh, those guys, <laughs> I, I noticed even at that time, they were businessmen. They were thinking about owning a station. That's right. They was going to learn about everything around there. Hey, they was gonna, and that, you, see what Dre, you, see, you see what Dre did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Like, Morris, I'm waiting for you to yeah. call me for my time. And uh, I'm Ice Cube, he went, this board. He, he went to the movies and everything. So. I'm going to do my own somewhere else. But they, yeah. every, all the lo- young kids today, they say, I want to be a rapper, but it's more than just uh, talking. Yes, it is. Those it guys is. did a lot of studying. It's sto- yeah, lot stories of hard work, and stuff that's you know, related in history. Right. Yeah. A lot of information. Now, what I want to do, I want to go to one of the pictures. So just click on one besides the ones with uh, whispers, and then I'll let you maybe, you know, just tell us quickly. Okay. No, we got a good 20 minutes with you, so we're good. Now, what is this picture? Describe what that That's what Charles that? Wright. Okay. You know, watch 103rd Street Band. Okay. You might express yourself. It's one of the big songs. Oh, they express, express yourself. <laughs> Speaking of NWA. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was perfect timing, yeah, huh? That's Charles Wright. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of NWA, express uh, yourself. That's where he really got it from, yeah. y'all, Dr. Dre. Now, go to the next picture for me, sister. That's, that's Rick Holmes. He had, a, he had an album he made with Cannonball Adderley all about the, the signs. Okay. The Gemini uh, Aquarius. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And the lady with him is a Sarah Vaughn. Uh, oh, that's oh, classic. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. sassy. She, she's a very nice nice entertainer. Okay, next, sister. And then uh, that's Sarah, Sarah Vaughn and me, and her manager, her husband, one of the two. Okay. We have another one up the there. Station there. Uh, I think that little other one. Is no, whispers. and the, what the what's the is the two at the bottom down where you can click one of them whispers and what is it the same? See no, at the, the very bottom right. of that uh, it, white paper, the white file. I'm sorry, I'm all on the computer. <laughs> no, I'm over there on the computer in that file. Oh, uh-huh. that open folder on the computer itself. I think, screen. I think it's just the whispers again. That's okay, the yeah, desktop. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, y'all, y'all know Boston. She be doing about fifty things. <laughs> so, other than that, now I had a thought. I'm about to almost forget it. Let us know some of the. As far as the stars and different people that you work with. One time, uh, I'd like to tell you for this other time, I was with Jimmy Carter when he was president. Okay. Oh, wow. he, had a, he had a party on the lawn at the White House. Awesome. Honoring black music. Oh. So, of course, I, a lot of DJs and entertainers were invited. Okay. I got an invitation. I went. Wow. And it was very beautiful. I met uh, Billy Eckstein, Andre wow. Crouch, Sarah, Sandra Crouch, a mm. uh, guy that sang for the Shy Lights, uh, Eugene Record. Okay. Kiss Millie Jackson's hand. Okay. Uh. Millie, I remember that. My auntie used to say, you know that song, if don't nobody like Millie D. Jackson, oh. you can kiss my... That's that Oh, lady, I right? never heard... Yeah, <laughs> My auntie used to play that. No, I didn't know that. I, I never heard that one. I on eight tracks mm. in the car. Yeah. She, she, she was a... She was a... She, she was a... 
She had a wild mouth. She was yeah, she was just kind of a comedian. Oh yeah, yeah. But she, she could get serious. We heard the album with her and uh, Isaac Hayes made it together. Okay, but I saw her at the Roxy, and they kept rushing her. You know? Oh wow! So she, she 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 wasn't so good there. Oh wow! But then I saw her at the Total Experience on Crenshaw when they had a club there. Okay, she had all the time in the world. And I tell you, when you listen to her show all the way, the way she likes to do it. The most beautiful thing you ever heard. Okay. But she did it. She it was political. You know, okay. She, took, she uh, she wanted to know why all these guys <laughs> with money hmm. married somebody to dump them when they got. Yeah, like they do now with the basketball yeah. wise and all of the <laughs> right <out of> show. <laughs> put, come on, stuff. basketball. Which basketball player think I'm cute when you see the show? Uh. Get at me. We ain't got no babies. Just marry me real quick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I can get me my own radio station and be in there engineering my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all. But that was a good experience. You know? That's and right. Then another one was, uh, I saw, I was watching a picture out in the hall about, with Muhammad Ali. Oh, the, yes. Uh, I, I, oh, my gosh. I got a picture of Muhammad Ali in there. Thank you for mentioning that. The, the day, you brought me back to what yeah, I was thinking. When, when, he, when he beat Sonny Liston, the day before he won the championship, uh, my best friend Henry, okay, his wife Mary, mine, Martha, and I was sitting on the couch watching the fight, and that was the next day when Martha gave birth to my first kid. Oh wow! Mm. Okay. So that was a very happy time. So That's I right. associate with with a uh, Muhammad Ali. That's right. And like I say, he lived on Crenshaw at one time. Oh. Right, right off of a, uh, on Wilshire, right near Crenshaw, okay. in the gated community. And he used to come to by the station. He used to like play a lot of jokes and stuff, you know. Okay. Mm. He was a fun guy. And uh, recently, uh, <laughs> one time the uh, California. African American Museum, they had a gala that honored Muhammad Ali and KJLH. Okay. And I was there. He was there too, but he wasn't talking at the time. His wife was talking for him. Oh, wow. Talking. I think I remember that. Mm. Yeah, it was nice, That's nice right. affair. And uh, he, uh, AQMAD, uh, they, uh, Dr. Burke we went to one of his things recently and they, they paid tribute to Muhammad Ali also. Oh, wow. They liked the fact that he was interested in people. Okay. Especially, especially young kids, he took right. time to be nice to them. And That's he right. knew the importance. They know they, they know the importance of protecting the kids' health and Definitely. everything. Definitely. And so that's why they liked Muhammad. What he Definitely. was doing. That's right. Now, classic Kathy, you have something you want to say, honey? We still got us a good seventeen uh, <laughs> minutes or so. Yeah, I think something it's like interesting because you were talking about Muhammad Ali, and that's one of my favorites yeah. of all time, as you <laughs> might know. Maybe don't know. I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, but in saying that, one thing you were saying is that as big as he was, as awesome as he was, he was personable. Yeah. You know, your experience with a company or any time you come into contact with someone should always be favorable. Mm -hmm. You know, and it just, mm -hmm. you guys raised us to be respectful. Right. You know, I would say, I hope I'm respectful. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I try to remember that. And so I think the old school way of doing things, you're never too big to be humble. Uh, you know, exactly. and I feel like we have gotten, I keep talking about we getting away from stuff, but I just feel like even in entertainment, like as small as we are as a people, people of color of all kinds, right, in this room, for instance, how personable are we with each other? How much do we go, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I feel like we, in so many ways, battle each other too much to mm -hmm. where it's becoming really not cool. I, <laughs> I, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I, I'll give it from a little perspective uh, at one time, I, I'll use the black thing. Uh, when I was growing up, we all helped one another. Yes. But we all had to live together, too. Yes. You know, we, we couldn't move over here, over there, over there. You know, we had to live together. Mm -hmm. So we all looked out for each other. We shared things. And I could sleep out at night in the summertime out on the schoolyard. Nobody would bother me. Nobody okay, would bother now the kids. You didn't have to lock doors. But as we uh, got these in the 60s, when people start... Uh, getting so-called equal rights, they start spreading out. Mm -hmm. Remember, how, I remember how L.A. used to be. Okay. You see all the entertainment, I could find anything I wanted. Any, I go up Crenshaw Boulevard down Adams Avenue, or I could have anything I wanted. See, now mm -hmm. it's all gone. Yep. You see, and my, some of my kids have moved out to way out in the woods, in the mountains. <laughs> They're isolated, I, have, I very seldom see them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, and we're losing contact. Yeah. And then uh, uh, somehow or another, and I think it's true. When they uh, flew them planes, Reagan sent the planes down uh, Central go. America, and he had them bring all that rock cocaine back mm -hmm. in the and, and distribute it in the yes. Uh, yes. inner cities. Yes. Yep. And that started uh, the drug, the, the the rock cocaine against the powdered cocaine. And you get automatic 
sentences for rock cocaine, a lot of time in jail, a lifetime. Yeah. Uh, that stuff busting up the community is pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. It was a trap. Right. Yeah. Definitely, and, uh, they fell right into. Yeah. It was a right trap. Into. And I, I wake up every morning, uh, I listen to C SPAN. And you hear the people call in. I want to hear them talking. They talk some crazy stuff over there. Wow. They're blaming everything on Barack Obama. Wow, and right. Everybody knows for the last year, eight years what they said mm-hmm. was we're not going to work with this guy. We're going to make sure he's a failed president. He's been trying and trying and trying and trying, but they will not give him credit for the good that's been going on. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, I don't know. And, uh, you, 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 you. and they also, I think they made it, for instance, a... Uh, Black on black crime. Yes. You can go to jail, so if you do it, but they, they, you're not going to. You go. You, you encourage to do black on black crime because mm-hmm. uh, you're going to go to jail, but mm-hmm. it's not as bad as if you did the other way. Mm-hmm. See? Exactly. But we're going to do y'all. We're going to take a quick break. And we're going to come back. I want to play some music. I want to make sure Lee Spoon, he go back and watch this on the Replay channel. He can vibe some of this music. So we're going to let Don be the DJ today. How about that? Is she going to play what she want to play? You know what I'm saying? I'm over there looking at you, Brian. Like I'm talking to only him. So thank you guys for tuning in. 323-965-1600. Don't call yet. We're about to go to this track right now. Bossy switched it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm still crazy. I still told him I'd knock him out, but I ain't say a cuss word while I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hi. So, anyways, y'all, what I want to do is uh, get into Classic Kathy real quick and kind of tell uh, you wanted to mention a little something. With well, there's Andre two Russell, things right? I never got to tell you. One was one thing that I've always heard all my life that always made me feel special was the fact that you announced my birth on the Airwaves. I hope you really did that, and that wasn't something my mother told me to make me be quiet. <laughs> um, uh, me? Yeah. I probably, I, remember, I, probably did, she, I was born at night in 78, so maybe yeah. you did shout her out. And um, I think that's amazing. So, hi, Mom. Thank you. Yeah. That's so, right. that has always made me interested in broadcasting. You know, yeah. that's always made me feel different because, you know, I'm one of many, one of five. I'm so. sure if it happened, Trudy, Trudy would tell you. Yo, she Trudy. did. She She'd did. Tell you, okay. <laughs> but then so, one thing. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No. Okay. So then the next thing I want to tell you is I started to look for you, though. I started. I said, you know what? I hear about my uncle. He, I hear he's on KJLH, but I could not find you online for anything. I didn't know your names. I didn't know no. your. I finally asked my mom a few questions. I still couldn't find you. So then finally I saw that thing on Facebook where. Someone thought that you had passed away. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was yeah. like what? <laughs> you know who? Wow. T- no, no. Who cleared that? Cleared that up? Who did? Your cousin uh, Cheryl. Oh, she did. Yeah, she goes on the KJLH occasionally, and they told her 
he mentioned me and that he, I had died three years ago. Oh, wow. She said, no. Oh. She said, my uncle's not. So finish with your story. I know you got a point for our <laughs> See, I, I, I left there. I left there, and uh, I was there so long that Maddox was a manager at the time. Okay. And so I've been there long. I was ready to get me, let me go. Nobody had a contract anyway. So I went in one day, and he had an envelope about that thick. Wow. And says, uh, we're going to let you go. But oh. you can take this with you, and uh, this is severance pay. When I oh, wow. word severance kind of dug deep. Right, you know? severance. I'm and a I severance. Said, what the hell does yeah. that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> and uh, so I never, I lost contact. I didn't bother them. You know, a lot of guys hung around and they got back on. I just left. Okay. You see, and I took the envelope, helped pay for my daughter's uh, That's U- right. USC. Man. That's right. Yeah, you finish now. Your turn. Can I finish with your story? How you were saying you was oh, getting well, to get it? Because like, we don't got a lot of time, push, so I want to make push, sure you finish. And that's pretty much the gist of the story, and that's good to know. I pushed for this story because I was working on another station, a different thing, and I wanted to do it right away because, you know, we've lost some people. We've lost a lot of people recently, like yeah. my dad, and just yeah. I lost some friends and people over the last year out of the blue, and I was like, you know what? I have to do something for my uncle because. That's why I'm doing what I do. And sometimes we don't know that our younger people are watching us so closely. Yeah. Definitely. And that it's impacting our life positively, Definitely. though. You know, even your your children have affected us. Let me tell you something. Yeah. You don't know how close I've been watching you. <laughs> at, at your father's funeral, I started to jump up there and join you at the casket. Oh. Because you was there a long time. I know you was hurt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. But I was waited. No, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so how did you end up reaching to get the information or something you were well, getting on him? I'm, so, I'm trying to be We got five minutes. Either yeah, you going to tell good. half your we're story good. or I'm going to cut y'all off for you to get it out. We're good. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. To be, to be even on here is amazing. So, again, back to the, the story was I called uh, KGLH. Okay. Like, hey, what's up? You know, like, you got to represent my, where's my uncle at, you know? And so Andre Russell got on the phone with me and he said, you know what? You're King Oliver's uh, niece. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's my <laughs> uncle. And he was like, yeah, you know, he's a legend. I don't know how that we've been trying to get in contact with him and whatever. And so I feel like our family and the radio station owes you something in the sense that this is 50 years. You were there for 20 years of that 50. Oh, wow. We need to do something yeah. to honor that. Now, you, you're a humble person. I get like that, too. But... Forget all that. Like, this is amazing. And, and that's, her of, that's her whole so purpose. That's kind of like why we did this. Story yeah. out of you being here. Okay. Because she's like, I got an idea, and I want my uncle. Yeah. We were supposed to be doing. Um, we were supposed to be doing some. Um, the libations. Yeah, libations. We done got Uncle as <laughs> DJ, DJ yeah, stations. Right. Uh-huh. So I definitely, you know, yeah. appreciate you guys coming out. We have like three minutes left. Yeah, so whatever. you, it's about you today. You know what I'm saying? I want you to, you know, just say your last words or if you want to say oh, something. Oh, last words. <laughs> no, not the last, no, not the last, last, last. Yeah, we're going, no we're going over there to uh, party after. No, but anyway, just say, you know, something if you want to speak to the people. Well, I, I want to thank you for having me here. Okay. And uh, I'm well. I'm doing good. Awesome. And uh, How you doing? Music is my thing. That's my hobby. I, I do that most of the time around the house. I'm playing music. Okay. Tracking it down, uh, right. categorizing it. Uh, I right. got a ton of it there, and it's hard to keep up with it, but it's a very interesting hobby I have right That's now. Right. Occasionally, I, I go on radio stations with a friend of mine. Okay. Bill over at a KPFK. Okay, plug that. What days is that? Uh, he's on there on Saturdays. What time? Two o'clock, two to four. And you're there? Occasionally. Okay. That's his okay. thing. It's, no, called, okay. it's called Rhapsody in Black, and, it's, and he, he highlights the oh. music from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Oh, that's awesome. interesting. And R&B, that. so it's good to, good to keep that history going. Yes. Bill Gardner's his name. Definitely. Definitely. So. Who's your favorite R&B singer out right now? Oh, it's hard to say. The I new love new Aretha. Huh? No, new, new. new These new, new booties. I like Tony Braxton. She's not new anymore either. No, mm-hmm. uh, she's, she's not new anymore? No. Oh, no. oh, oh. What, what's <laughs> new? new stuff is not real. They don't really like sing. Like Rihanna? Do you like Rihanna? That's new it's stuff. That's super new. I'm a type of pop. Maybe it's Yeah, that's R&B. I mean, Oh. But I got Whitney. Did so you, ever heard of, you, you, you ever heard of Chris Michelle? Mm. Chris real. You ever heard of a, a woman alive. named uh, Wendy Moulton? Mm-hmm. I, I've heard. You ever heard of song? Yeah, you have good. Yeah. You ever heard a song? All I do, well, uh, Walt uh, Willem. He Kirk Willem. You ever heard of him? Mm-hmm. He got a woman singing the song, mm-hmm. and that's Wendy Moulton. Okay, that's a bad and song you, too. You, and I looked her up, <laughs> and she sounds just like Whitney. Oh wow! Oh wow! Exactly. Like beautiful they did the little charts and showed their voices the same range, same tone, mm, and everything. That's high. Okay. Yeah. Wow. She, well, finish your sentence. So music, music is uh, is good. It helps awesome. a lot of people. Yes, it does. What do you say? Music, uh, 
Sue is a savage beast. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's yes, very it good. good. Definitely. The music is good. Definitely. So y'all stay listening and tuned <laughs> in to music, period, on all the radio stations. Stay tuned in to Global Street Wave, you guys. We about to wrap it up like a condo. I had to oh say something. <laughs> he like that. I just had to say something. You know, I'm to learn about but I made him made you laugh. So we about to wrap it up, y'all. As y'all can see, Bossy gonna still be Bossy, and she's still gonna be crazy. Thank you, Bossy. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, honey. Listening. Thank if the you. caller that's called in, if you were listening and tuned in, apologize, man. But go back and watch the replay on YouTube, y'all. RMCOnAir.com. RMC on, excuse me, RMC on air on the YouTube channel. Go back on there or just Google Global Street Wave and go watch the replays, y'all. We not to be worried about no shout outs and all that today. My main shout out is to the Universal Energy that got us all here today and to my little DJ Charlie at 97.7 The Blaze because that's why our screaming boss is going to keep it rocking. And again, that's CM Magazine. You feel me? I want to give a super shout out to the Alka Chatter at Alka Line, Great Water. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sipping on like some vodka in here. <laughs> And we out of here, y'all. Global Streetway. Y'all check out the On and On track, man. That's coming to iTunes real soon. We live some bossy. moments, boss. Kevin Oliver in the building. I said Kevin Oliver. Yes, sir. <laughs> King Oliver. Yeah. Think of Kevin yeah. Nash hey, with radio. Hey. Yeah. Think of Kevin Nash and King oh, Oliver. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Nash, yeah. We're here. And thank you. Yeah.